So team, keep it clean. Uh, before we start this video, I got to give a really, really special shout out uh, to my guy, Nick Wallace. Um, Nick Wallace, he currently going through a couple things right now. Um, but I just, I wanted to let you know that I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you still, despite everything, uh, always showing love, always showing support. Um, so I hope everything turns around for you, man. I hope everything is better for you. And I hope you can pull through um, what it is that you're facing right now. So I got a lot of love for you. Thank you. Shout out to you. Shout out to your wife. Uh, shout out to your whole family, man. So I, I appreciate you a whole lot, man. Um, but what I wanted to talk about uh, today um, is with Odell Beckham Jr. and the Baltimore Ravens. It's like they're, they're in an upside down world or something. And, and the reason I say this is because exactly what I was thinking was going to happen to the Baltimore Ravens, it ended up happening to the Jets. Uh, because, and, and wor literally word for word, word for word, verbatim exactly what we thought we were going to hear about the Baltimore Ravens because um, we know the Jets were interested in Odell Beckham Jr. We know the Ravens were interested in Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, but the Ravens, they obviously closed the deal. But what I thought, and I expressed it with y'all so many times before, what I ex even even the day of the day that Odell Beckham Jr. got signed, we talked about it in the video that we did it, it wasn't looking good, and we thought that this is what we were gonna hear. We thought we were gonna hear the Baltimore Ravens. They they really were interested in Odell Beckham Jr. They even made a competitive offer to Odell Beckham Jr., but he decided to to go uh, with the New York Jets. But listen to this. Li li listen to the wording. This is from Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk. I know a lot of Ravens fans are not big Florio fans. But anyway, it says, uh, the article is called, How Close Were the Jets to Signing Odell Beckham Jr.? He said, as of last Sunday, receiver Odell Beckham Jr. was ready to visit the Jets on Monday. Then suddenly, the Ravens signed Beckham with no visit to the Jets. So if the Ravens hadn't moved so quickly uh, to close the deal, what would have happened? Here it goes. Listen, this is the part. Jeremy Fowler of ESPN.com reports that the Jets made Beckham a very competitive contract offer. That's the one right there. That's the one that I'm so, we're so used to hearing about the Baltimore Ravens. We, we've heard that so many times. It's like whenever I see that, I automatically associate it with the Baltimore Ravens because it's happened plenty of times. And I, I respect the, 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 the effort in trying, but there'll be so many times where we heard that, and obviously the, the player went another route. They went to another team. So it's nice to be on the flip side of things. It's nice to be on this side of hearing that phrase because the Ravens won. They got, they got the guy. And, like, I know we, we've talked about this a lot, but it's something that's worth celebrating because it just don't be happening like this. It's like, and, 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 and last year, oof. Last year was one of the worst. And last year was one of the craziest times with that, actually. Because it happened at least two times on the defensive side of the ball. So that, that was the shocker right there. Twice on the defensive side of the ball. Last year. Because remember last year, Bobby Wagner. Oh, Bobby Wagner. Inside linebacker Bobby Wagner. And the Ravens, they were courting him. They were like, hey, Bobby, like, look, we love you. We, we trying to bring you on board, man. You would be a perfect fit. And I'm over here thinking, uh, well, yeah, Ravens could easily sell Bobby Wagner. He's an inside linebacker. They could be like, look, you remember Ray Lewis? Yeah, hey, we know that you, you've been a good inside linebacker, too. We a defensive team. Oh, I thought it was a for sure thing. And the Ravens even offered him more guaranteed money than he got with the Rams. They offered him more guaranteed money. So you you when you get more guaranteed money, you gotta hit less incentives to end up getting a, getting closer to the max of your deal. There's still gonna be some incentives or whatnot, but you got more guaranteed money. Like they offered you more guaranteed money and he said no, no, no. And again he's from the West Coast and whatnot. So get but still they made a competitive offer. But it didn't happen. It didn't work out. And then even last year, too, it, it went past competitive offer for Zadarius Smith, if we all recall, because in the legal tampering period, which I still hate, I, I can't stand it, 
Uh, in the legal, they, they need to just get rid of that. Just, just ask that. But in the legal tampering period, uh, the Ravens had came to an agreement with Zadarius Smith. So everybody like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a nice reunion. He's coming back to town. Okay, we got a pass rusher. Let's get it. But then a couple days passed, and we hadn't heard anything about Zadarius Smith officially signing his deal with the Baltimore Ravens. And stuff was weird. And it was like, okay, what's going on with Z? What's happening? So a couple days passed, and, and, and time passed, and then it was like, oh, well, we started hearing rumors that, well, may, maybe the uh, Zadarius Smith ain't really feeling the deal anymore. And we were like, huh? But I thought they agreed to, but I thought this thing was set in, st but I thought Zadarius Smith was getting ready to return to be a Baltimore Ray. And it just didn't happen. And then he ended up taking his talents to the Minnesota Vikings. So I, I guess he really, he really wanted to be in purple, but just not with Ravens purple. I guess that the, the tone was, was a little too different for him. But anyway, um, so that was another one. And then it, it turned out with that one that the deal that he would have had with the Ravens, it was a better offer than what he got with the Vikings. So maybe he was just like one of them people where, and it's unfortunate, um, but where, again, I got got to link it to a relationship. Where it's a guy that likes a girl, but this girl, she really likes a different guy. She doesn't like the guy that really likes her, but she likes a different guy. So the guy A likes the girl, but the girl, she likes guy B. And she will use guy A to try to make guy B jealous. Because that happens sometimes. We see it all the time, and, and it, it happens in a lot of relationships, but it happens in the NFL too. To where the girl, she, she may be available. She may be available. Nobody's talking to her. Nobody trying to hit her up or nothing. Nobody, nothing. Then all of a sudden, she started talking to guy A. And then guy B like, oh, oh, I, I ain't know you. Oh, man, she, maybe she is attractive. We see it with NFL free agents every single day year it happens all the time when these guys are they'll, they'll be free agents just sitting out there in free agency nothing's happening they're just looking around waiting okay i'm chilling in free agency yeah yeah nobody interested no offers no visits no nothing then team a they're like hey we're gonna bring in such and such for a visit they bring him in but then team b's like whoa 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 whoa, oh they brought him in we gotta bring him in for a visit too are we interested now then team c then team d it happens all the time we always see that. So I guess maybe Zadarius Smith was trying to make the Vikings a little bit jealous. But I, I, I don't know what it was. But, I mean, I think it went a lot past jealousy because the Ravens were like, hey, <laughs> we got our guy back. Because, you know, last year was a reunion year because they brought back Michael Pierce too. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, that, that's, that's just life in the NFL, man. But, again, back to Odell Beckham Jr. and his whole thing, I am very happy that – the Ravens are actually on the right side uh, of the whole contract offer. But just wanted to share that with y'all. And, and, and again, the reason I wanted to share it with y'all was because of the, the wording. Very competitive offer. That, that, that was the sole purpose of this video because that, that, that phrase, us Ravens fans, we, we just know about it so much. But this time, we're on the good side. And I love it. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Again, special shout out to my guy, Nick Wallace. We love you, man. We appreciate you, and we rocking with you, man. We out.